Welcome to Bridge. Bridge is the tool we're going to be using to access Quixel assets, which will allow us to uh, decorate our scene the way we want. We will use uh, Bridge to uh, enhance our, our environment. And so right now what we're going to do is we're going to download and install. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, and once you have it uh, installed, you'll, this will pop up. And you will need to log in. So I'm currently logged in. So I'll just log out for a second and uh, click sign in and use again your same credentials as you use to log in to Unreal Engine. So uh, we're, we use their Google uh, domain for our school board. I don't know, whatever you use at your school, you can just set up Epic Game accounts if you want, whatever is simplest. Uh, and so here we are in Quixel. So the thing that you're quickly going to realize is there's a lot in here and you may want to take a few minutes to look at the different themes that are available. So there's some in co collections environments and you may want to explore and look uh, at a lot of the things that you can find. But one of the things we're going to focus on once you get going is we're going to be using mostly 3D assets and 3D plants. Okay. Uh, we're not going to use surfaces. We're not going to use decals. Uh, now, if you and your teacher decide that you want to add that, go go for it. I'm not going to cover it in this course. What I want to talk about now, though, is setting this set setting up Quixel to work with your Unreal Engine uh, project. Okay, so we are logged in. I'll repeat that. That's really important. And the next step is we want to look at the download settings. So. The thing is, these Quixel assets are made for like Hollywood movies. They're made for AAA, AAA games. And by default, usually LODs are at zero and one are on. And what this means is level of detail. And the problem with level LOD zero and probably LOD one, which I would turn off, is that it's so high quality that it could, it takes up a lot of place on your hard drive. So from experience, at my school, I usually do LOD, maybe one, depending on the computer, because we have some computers a little better than others. If not, LOD two, three, and four are fine. Okay. And don't change anything else here. The default is FBX, which is what we want. Uh, just turn off LOD zero and LOD one. And now we're going to look at the export settings, which is a little bit more, uh, well, not complicated. Uh, and one of the things you also need to do is, before we install the plugin is find where your uh, Unreal Engine 4.26 is what I, we installed. And so if you're running 4.27, just click on this and go and find it. So for me, it's on my H drive and I have to find 4.26, click engine and click plugins and select. Okay. Now you don't even need to add your project. Uh, but if you want, uh, you, you know, you might as well do it. It's not that hard to do. So remember, I told you to make sure you knew where you were saving your project in the intro video. So I'm going to go again to uh, my project. Uh, I'm going to go here. And this is where I put mine. I'm going to select it. And now what I'm going to do, and this is really important because it, it, it's adding a plugin, which will make Unreal Engine do something that it didn't do by default. And uh, in the new Unreal Engine 5, this will be built in automatically. But for now, you still have to do this step. Okay, before going on to the next step, what I would like the students to do is click under 3D Assets and start looking for things that fit in with their mood board. But one thing I want to emphasize, it's really, really important. So under 3D Assets and 3D Plants, and let's just go to 3D Assets for now, is I want them to... Let's pretend that I don't want them to click on this button. I want them to click on the like button. Okay, so what they're looking for is things that they think fit really well into what they're creating. So let's say I really like this. Um, I'm going to just go quickly here and this and this rock. Okay, and then maybe I want to go and look under vegetation. Um, you know, there are a lot of different ways nature and then you know, maybe there's something that they want to have some seabed uh, out in the open and so they can like this. So 
what they're going to do is have started their their search and here's a bunch of the things that i've added to my like library and you can always take it out if you don't like and it's gone okay so that's it for this section of the video in the next section we're going to look at uh, getting the uh, plug-in to work in unreal engine all right thank you